Welcome to Take Charters. Setting up a development environment for AI and machine learning can be a daunting task. In this video, I will show you the process step by step to configure your Windows system for AI and machine learning development. I will use WSL to configure the development environment, specifically the default WSL Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. If you are using any Ubuntu based Linux distros, most of the process will be same. I will also show you the process to install and configure CUDA Toolkit, CUDNN, and optionally TensorRT. After that, I will install VS Code for our development ID. And finally, I will show you the process to install Ulama and configure it with VS Code as your code assistant. So let's get started. Let's start installing WSL Ubuntu 22.04. Uh, recently, Ubuntu 24.04 long-term service is also available, but the problem is the recent one came with the GCC 14, which is not compatible with TensorFlow. So I choose the default one, which came with GCC 12, and it is compatible most of the TensorFlow. So first of all, we need to install WSL. So let's start installing WSL. First, we need to open the PowerShell as a administrator. So right click here and run as administrator. And here is our PowerShell. So here we, ha we have to put a very simple command that is WSL minus minus install. And now press enter and it'll take a little bit time and it'll install everything for us. By the way, I want to uh, tell you that the commands I will use here, uh, I will put that in the description. So most of the time the description, uh, YouTube description creates some problem to put those commands. So I will uh, create a repository and put all the commands there and I will share the link on the description. So here you can see the Ubuntu has been installed and it it is actually setting up everything for us. But to take the change effect, we need to restart our system. So I will restart the system and we'll be back. The computer is restarted and we need to put the username and it will ask for the password. So you can see the installation is successful and it is logged into the uh, Ubuntu. Our WSL is ready, so let's open it with this Ubuntu. Here, the WSL Ubuntu is running now. So let's uh, first thing first, let's uh, update and upgrade our WSL system. Okay, so our repository is updated and our system is upgraded. So we did that with a single command here. Uh, I will put these all the command in the uh, description. So you don't need to copy it from here. But the thing is, we uh, it's a good practice to always update and upgrade your system before configure anything. So this is the first thing. Next, we need to install some uh, essential uh, build essential packages it'll allow us to install CUDA toolkit and other things so let's install it it's a it's not a single package it's a combination of all the package required for build okay so you can see uh, our system is uh, now ready to install CUDA toolkit uh, to do that we need to open these and we will search for CUDA toolkit before that, again, I'm, uh, I want to show you the TensorFlow uh, matrix. Here you can see the CUDA toolkit is 12.3 and 8.9. Uh, the TensorFlow 2.16.1 and 2.17 both support 
uh, CUDA 12.3 and CUDNN 8.9. So we'll go with this, okay? So let's uh, download CUDA toolkit. So right now it is, I think, 12.5 or 6 uh, CUDA toolkit. So if you go directly to the CUDA toolkit uh, app, it will give you the latest one, but we want a previous version that is 12.3. So uh, we'll search for the archive. And from here, if you go to the archive, you can see from here, you can also download the latest version, but uh, for the TensorFlow, we need 12.3. So I'm going here. You can see there is 12.3.012. Uh, so the latest one is 12.3.2. So we'll go with this, okay? And here we need to select Linux and 8664 and we are using WSL Ubuntu. So we will select this one and version two and we'll go with the run file, okay? So the thing is why we are using um, this, uh, this WSL version because this WSL version doesn't have any uh, NVIDIA driver it will not install any NVIDIA driver by default because our NVIDIA driver is installed in our host Windows machine and that is passed through the GPU here. So we don't need to install it separately here. Uh, just, uh, I want to check again, NVIDIA SMI, you can see the 560 NVIDIA uh, GPU driver 560.31 is installed so we don't need to install any driver we just need to install the CUDA toolkit so let's uh, just I copied that and paste the link to download okay so our CUDA toolkit is downloaded if I go there here is the command to run this file so let's copy it and paste it it will take a long time so I will fast forward after almost one minute we came to this page we need to accept the license Please remember, if you get any error in this uh, scenario, then you need to uh, make sure that you install all the build essential files. This is very important, otherwise, otherwise you will get errors. Now we need to accept the license and we need to write accept here and press enter and it will start installing our system. Now we need to select uh, the file, the packages so here I want to install everything so just select install and press enter and it will start installing CUDA toolkit as you can see it is installed CUDA toolkit is installed it took almost uh, one to two minutes now we need to configure the path but I will not do that right now I will do that later okay because I want to configure everything at the same time like the CUDA toolkits UDNN and the TensorRT uh, although TensorRT is uh, optional, but I want to configure them together and I will give you all the uh, entries in a uh, in the description so that you don't need to copy anything, okay? So for the CUDNN, we again need to search for CUDNN and if you see here, we need uh, CUDNN 8.9 for this. So let's search CUDNN and archive. So let's go to the archive and here, uh, please remember I al already logged into the NVIDIA developer account. So if you are not, then you need to um, create a NVIDIA developer account and download this file. So I will go with the 8.9.7. This is the latest one, okay? So let's download it. And here we need to download the local installer. So let's download the local installer here. I already downloaded it. So it's uh, coming with the one option, but I, I again, I'm downloading it and I will use this one. So if I go to the download page, here is all my downloads. So from here, you can see the CUDNN is downloaded. So I will go with the CUDNN 8.7, this one and copy these to the Linux directory, okay? In the Linux directory, I will go to the Ubuntu and here from home, take jotters and here I will paste it. Now, I will also download the uh, TensorRT at the same time. So if you search TensorRT, 
you can get the link to download TensorRT. Download now. And again, you need the developer ID. And TensorRT 10 is not supported by TensorFlow, so we need to go with the TensorRT 8. And if I agree, then you can see the 8.6 is the latest one if you click here. And here you can see the TensorRT 8.6 for Ubuntu 22.04 dev package, but I will go with the tar package here for the Linux, okay? So it is saying that it support CUDA 12 and 12.1, but I tested it. It also support 12.3, so don't worry about it. We will download this one, and I already downloaded it before, so it's coming with one, but uh, again, I, I want to show you how you can do this, so... Here it is downloading, okay? If I go to the download page here, you can see the TensorRT. So I will download, uh, copy this one uh, without the one, okay? And I will again take it to the Linux directory and Ubuntu and here home and the name of the user and paste it here. Here it is. So it is downloaded, so let's close it. And again, go to the terminal. And if I press LS, we should see the TensorRT and CUDNN files, okay? Both are tar.zz and tar.xz, that's fine. So now uh, we'll start with the CUDNN, okay? So for CUDNN, we'll extract the file here. So this is the command tar-xvf and the name of the uh, CUDNN file. And if you press enter, it will extract it. It will take a little bit time. Okay, so it's extracted. So if I press LS again, you can see uh, the CUDNN uh, is extracted in this directory. So I'll go inside this directory. And from here, if I press LS, you can see there is an include and leave directory. So I will copy all the uh, CUDNN dot uh, H files to the uh, CUDA directory, okay? So be, uh, this is the command. We are copying all the uh, CUDNN files with uh, the uh, extension .h inside the include directory, and we will put it to the CUDA toolkit, CUDA uh, directory, and inside the include file, we'll copy all the files there, and it's copied, and uh, we'll also copy the lib files inside the lib64, okay? If you press enter, it will copy all the files there. So it's done. So now what we'll do, we'll uh, actually change the ownership of the files here with the command chmod. The files we uh, copied to the CUDA 12.3 directory. We want to change the directory, uh, the ownership, and it's done. Now we need to download the TensorRT. So let's go, we already put it here, right? We already downloaded it. So let's go to the previous directory here and say ls, and you can see the TensorRT is here. So the command to extract TensorRT is here. And if you press enter, it will extract everything. Okay, so this is extracted. And now if I press ls, you can see the TensorRT 8.6.1.6 directory is here. So we need to move this file to the uh, user and local directory. So here we'll move this directory into this, uh, into user, local, and TensorRT 8.6.1 directory, and it's moved. Now we'll configure our uh, bashrc file for CUDA toolkit, CUDNN, and TensorRT, okay? So let's uh, open BashRC with Nano. And if you go to the bottom, and you need to put these commands here. Don't worry, I will again give this uh, to the description so that you don't need to write it okay so now i will put control o to write and control x to close so our uh, 
Bash RC is configured for uh, CUDA Toolkit, CUD NN, and uh, Tensor RD. So let's uh, source it so that it will take effect immediately. Now, to check the uh, CUDA Toolkit, the command is nvcc and dash dash version. And if you run this, you can see the CUDA Toolkit 12.3 is installed correctly and now if you want to check the CUDNN uh, if you want to verify the CUDNN installation you can write this one and you can see the it is actually showing all the CUDNN files so that means your file is installed uh, in the correct directory and it is working so now we are ready to install TensorFlow because our all the CUDA toolkits, UDNN, TensorRT, everything is installed and configured properly. Now, for the TensorFlow, what I found is the version 2.16.1. If you go there, you can see the 2.16.1. This is the previous version and the latest version is 2.17.0. So if you use 2.16.1, it is much uh, better. It supports all the CUDA toolkits and everything. So it will give you no error, some warnings based on your motherboard. Otherwise, it will work perfectly. You can actually uh, avoid all the warnings. But for the TensorFlow 2.17, you will get some error, but it will not affect your performance. But still, I don't like to see the errors and everything. So I want to go with the 2.16.1. But I will also show you the 2.17.0 also. So before that, let's see uh, here the TensorFlow 2.16.1 uh, supports 3.9 to 3.12 version of Python. So first I want to install Python, okay? So if I go to the Miniconda, I want to use... Um, Miniconda for my Python because it's easier to, uh, you know, configure everything with any Miniconda. But you can use uh, any Python. Like if you want, you can use the default Python installed here. Like if you write Python 3, you will see the, sorry, Python 3. Python 2 is not available. Python 3, you can see that 3.10 is uh, coming by default with uh the Ubuntu 22.04 but I want to use the Miniconda version so that I can uh, use it in different scenarios because with Miniconda I can you know install 3.12, 3.10, 3, any version of Python. So let's go to Miniconda and here if you click on Linux you can click on the download the SH files and here all the files, those are uh, the default Python is 3.12, but I want to use 3.10 by default, okay? Because most of the things are supported, most of the Python uh, packages support 3.10, so I want to use that. So to that, to go there, you need to click on the other installer links and you need to go to the Linux version and here you can see 3.12, 3.11, 3.10. So I will copy the 3.10. And if you want, you can use 3.11, 3.12, no problem, because TensorFlow supports them. But I want to go with the 3.10, because uh, with the Conda Create environment, I can uh, use Python 3.12, no problem at all. So I want to go with the lower version. So let's download it with wget command and paste the link here and the miniconda is downloaded so the command to install it bash and dot slash and the name of the miniconda file and we need to uh, ag agree with the privacy policy then i want the default directory and i need to put yes here and it's done so if i close this and just open Ubuntu again, you can see the base. That means our uh, file is ready. Our Miniconda is ready. So let's 
first organize our system I want to make a directory for all my projects and go inside projects so here so sorry sorry it's a project so here I will create two new directory because I want to show you both tensorflow 2.16.1 and 2.10 separately so I will create both so mkdir tf216 and mkdir17 okay so first I will go with the tf216 so let's go inside tf216 directory and now let's make an environment for this so the command is conda create dash dash name and I want to put the same name here tf216 and I want to use python is equal to 3.11 although I installed uh, the miniconda with python 3.10 but I can use python 3.11 python 3.12 with my environment that's why I use uh, miniconda so let's press enter and it will create the environment for us press yes now let's activate the environment first so you can see the environment is activated here uh, it changes from base to our activated environment and now this is the command to install tensorflow 2.16.1 if you press enter it will download everything and you can check it so our uh, tensorflow 2.16 is installed so let's check with this command whether it's getting the GPU or not and here you can see it is getting GPU so that's perfectly fine and there is some uh, warnings and you can actually avoid these warnings because these NUMA things it's uh, uh, based on the motherboard you are using in my motherboard I searched with this and it is not available in my motherboard so I have no way to avoid these warnings but the main thing is actually here you can see the GPU is zero and device type is GPU so uh, this is the only GPU in my system so it's zero so it is actually working perfectly okay so let's uh, uh, deactivate the account okay and let's change the directory and go to TF217 uh, sorry 217 and let's make another uh, conda environment okay with uh, 217 so let's create it here and press yes and now let's activate 2.17 so I'm doing this to show you the difference between 2.17 and 2.16 so that you can understand uh, the errors we are getting here so here uh, to install the latest one 2.17 is the latest one so we can delete the uh, equal sign and after the 2.16 everything so just this command enter and it will install 2.17.0 for us okay so 2.17 is installed let's check the GPU and here you can see you you will you can see there is a lot of uh, errors but those are not affecting on your system or on your uh, capability so that's you can definitely ignore them and here is the warnings you can ignore them this is the common warning we get with 2.16 but these are the extra things we get on 2.17 and uh, I tried to solve this but I couldn't find any way but uh, these are not actually affecting on your capability so that's one thing and that's another thing if you go to the tensorflow uh, website and if you click learn okay and here you can see 
to the TensorFlow Learn More for beginners. I will start with the beginner quick start. And here, if you see the screenshot they provide here, they, the Colab is also getting the same error uh, warnings or errors. So this is actually common for 2.17, okay? So we'll not bother with it. We can use 2.16 or 2.17. For 2.16, the best thing is uh, you will not get those errors. You will get only the NUMA warning if you don't have the NUMA uh, capabilities in your motherboard. But for 2.17 2 TensorFlow, you will get some extra errors, but those are not uh, affecting on your uh, performance. So that's uh, the thing to install. Like you can decide which one you want to install. Now let's install uh, Jupyter Lab. Okay, so the command is pip install Jupyter Lab. I'm installing it on uh, TF217. Okay, let's install it first. <laughs> now let's install IPyKernel. So I want to select the kernel when I run uh, Jupyter Lab. Okay, so let's run it to install IPyKernel and Okay, so IPy kernel is installed. So the next thing is I want to register my uh, TF217 kernel uh, with this command. It will show TF217 uh, in the kernel list. So let's install it. Okay, it's registered. So let's run Jupyter Lab here. And if you click here, it will open the Jupyter Lab, and here you can see it is showing TF217. Uh, so that's great. So let's uh, save it as uh, TF217. Again, the same name. And uh, let's go to the here and let's copy these uh, codes and paste it in our Jupyter Lab. And let's check what it will give us. And you can see the TensorFlow version is 2.17.0. Uh, and if I run the command from here, just give me one moment. Okay, so just run it here, another line and if I run it okay sorry we need to put another uh, okay close it and now run it and you can see the GPU is showing so everything is fine and the good thing is if you run this again okay it'll actually remove the warnings that's the main thing anyway our uh, TF kernel is ready, that's fine. Let's close it and let's do the same for uh, TF216, okay? So let's close it, yes. Okay, I'm sorry, the command will be conda deactivate and it will deactivate the uh, conda, okay? So let's change the directory to uh, cd TF216. Sorry, it's a typo. Okay. So now let's activate the conda activate tf216. This is another one. Here we need to install uh, the uh, Jupyter Lab. So pip install Jupyter Lab. It will install the Jupyter Lab for our this environment, uh, TensorFlow 2.16 environment. And now we need to install IPy kernel here. And we need to register the name. So here is the name. Now let's open Jupyter Lab here. 
And if I click here on the link, now you can see the there is two uh, environments, 216, 217. So let's go here. And again, let's uh, copy these uh, codes from here and paste it to our, first let's put it TF216 and let's paste the code here and run this code. <coughs> you can see the TF216 is here and it is actually not showing those uh, errors here. And let's run this one to check whether it is using GPU or not. And you can see it is using GPU. So everything is working perfectly and we have to, uh, Jupyter Lab installed in both our system. So next thing is we want to install uh, VS Code, okay? So let's download VS Code from here. And we want to install it Windows 11 and uh, download it started. Now let's open it. We need to install it here. I accept the license and it, the default directory. That's fine. And uh, okay, everything is fine. I will go with the default selection. <laughs> okay, so everything is working perfectly. Let's open this. You can see the VS code is here. So let's close it from here and go to our uh, terminal, WSL terminal, and let's close Jupyter Lab. And here I am inside the directory uh, TF216. So let's open VS code here with the command code and dot. And it is not because uh, if I close it again, sorry, let's close it and start uh, WSL terminal again and go inside projects and TF216 and here let's run code and you can see the code is started so let's uh, trust it here and here is our uh, file we created with Jupyter Lab okay so let's make it bigger and let's run this and here it will ask you to install the Python language and everything. So let's install it from here. And if you don't see this from here, you can go to this uh, extension tab and you can search for Python and install it. And you can install Jupyter Lab from here also. And if you see, this is the official one from Microsoft. So let's install it from here. It'll support your Jupyter Lab files. Here, let's install also WSL. So WSL is installed, okay. So let's install the Jupyter Hub here. Yeah, we need to install Jupyter Hub also. So let's install it here. And now if I go there on the file, it should give me the option to Python environment existing Jupyter server. So Python environment and you can see that TF216 is available here. So if I click here and then again run this command. Now if I run this, it should work perfectly and you can see it is uh, showing the GPU and everything. So that's fine. TF version 2.16 and GPU is available. Okay, that's fine. So let's close it. And again, let's uh, deactivate the environment. And let's go to the directory for TF217. And let's run this one from here. And everything is ready. So there should be no problem here. So let's run this one. And uh, okay, again, just copy this from here. 
and let's run this here. And let's uh, select the kernel. And from here, you can see the Python uh, environment. Let's click here and we need to select 217. Okay, let's run it. And here you can see the output. Okay, but if you run this again, the error will go and you will see the output. This is 2.17 and uh, GPU. So this is the way you can install TensorFlow. Yes, there is some uh, thing you need to uh, manually configure sometimes. Most of the time it will be automatical, but sometimes you need to install the extensions and you need to install Jupyter, uh, Jupyter, uh, Python and Jupyter Hub. Then you will get all these, uh, your uh, kernels here. Okay, so this is it for TensorFlow. Now I want to show you another option uh, to get the best uh, from your browser, like from your VS Code, and that is you can use uh, the Llama or the open source uh, versions of the uh, GPT, okay? So here, the thing is you can use definitely OpenAI uh, API to do this but I want to do everything from my local PC. So I will want to use Olama, okay, to run the uh, all the code support. So let's first install Olama. Let's go olama.com. And here, if I click on the download, you can see there's Linux option. Let's copy this and let's uh, just paste it here. And this command it will install Olama on your system. That is the uh, application to run the Llama or uh, large language models on your system. So you need to put your password here. And it is installed. That's great. Now you can select different models from your system. So here the Llama 3.1 and there is a lot of lots of things. So I will go with this uh, Deep Seeker Coder. Okay, let's open it. Okay, here you can select the version. So I will go with the 16 billion version and let's run this on the command terminal and it will download the uh, Lama file. This Deep Seek Coder version 2 is very good for codings. So just to wait a few minutes, it will download 8.9 gigabyte of files and it will be ready. And there is another thing I want to mention. I am installing Olama on the WSL version because what I found when I install it on Windows, it runs on the background and sometimes it uh, actually create problems with my system. So I don't want to run that all the time. I want to run it when I need it. So I install it with WSL. When it is downloading, I want to show you this one. If you copy this link and paste it to the browser, HTTP, and then paste this, you can see the Olama is running. So Olama is running on the background, that's fine. And if it is not working, then you need to write Olama space serve to run this and you can see it's uh, here. So let's uh, test and it's very fast, right? So let's uh, close it with the command pi. That's fine. So Ulama is running. Now we'll go to the extension and search for Kodi. I found this is the easiest uh, thing. Okay, easiest AI uh, thing you can use uh, use it pretty straightforward. So let's install it. Okay, so uh, you can see it's installed here. So if you click here, if you click on the Kodi and you need to sign in. Okay, I will go sign in with Google. And I want to 
log in here. Just simply log in and authorize, uh, and it'll it'll free. Okay, don't worry about it. It's free, so you can see it is actually uh, ready, and this is free, so don't worry about it. Now we need to configure uh, the Olama thing. So if I make it a little bit bigger, then it'll be easier for us to see everything. And if you go to the settings and here, code extensions billion, seven billion. And from here you can select experimental Olama. And if I click here, you can see everything here. And Olama is not, yes, here it is, the Olama, okay? If you select this, and let's close it. Now, if you search here, like anything, uh, give me a TensorFlow simple code to check the version. Let's run it. And here it is. You can see uh, it is giving us the codes and it is giving us the, uh, you know, ex explanation. So let's uh, create, just uh, let's create another file. And that is codetest.py. Let's make it. And let's go to code again. And here, if you click here, and it'll automatically transfer it here. You can copy it, you can create a new file with this if you want to make another, so test two. So you can see the test two file is created. Uh, I forget to put the PI extension, you need to put it. But you can copy to a new file or copy to the existing file and just copy the code, whatever you want. So I'm running this one, okay? So let's run it from here, Python then uh, the name of the file, so kodi test.py, let's run it. And you can see it is running and it is giving us the uh, result. So it is working perfectly. So that's uh, the way you can configure your VS Code and Kodi with Olama, the local model, so it's privacy. You can get the privacy with the uh, local models and you can use other uh, languages also other llama versions also so and if you want to change it you can click here and just you can select the desired version so if you use olama if you install another uh, llama model you can uh, you can see it here and you can select it okay so that's all for today so in this video i wanted to show you the total process to configure your system for uh tensorflow and uh AI and data like uh, machine learning uh, programming. So here I installed all the GPU things as well as uh, the VS code. And uh, I wanted to show you how you can easily use your uh, local Llama model to help you for the coding and everything. So hopefully it will help you a lot. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and share and uh, subscribe to my channel. It'll be a great help for me to uh, grow this channel. Thank you and have a good day.